What's up guys, it's Unders here for Audio Plugin Deals. And today we're checking out this awesome pack of EQ plugins from the guys at Mogwai Audio. They've done these four vintage EQs and they're coming in a bundle that's at ridiculous value. So let's dive into the DAW and check out what these EQs can do on your projects. All right, so here we are in Logic. And the first one of these four EQs we're gonna have a quick look at is the 1073. The fact it's named 1073 tells me it's aiming towards being the Neve preamp. So really known for being a really great vocal preamp or generally just a really nice recording preamp and the EQ formations that go with it. However, what's a little bit unique about this is it's got the preamp for all of the EQ bands separately. So you can adjust the amount of drive that's kind of like a multi-band distortion plugin built into an EQ. Super nice idea. So what I've done here, I've just popped it on a vocal track and we're just gonna use it to finish off the main vocal. So the track itself sounds like this. And we're just gonna tweak that center vocal a little bit, which is this one here. Felt so far when you're near the end I've been wasting all my time so I think something that we could maybe do is put a little bit of a high shelf on there and just bring up a, a little bit of the, the sheen in it. So right here on the right hand side, we've got a plus 16 to minus 16 high shelf. So we could really dip it off. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. Or we'll really lift it up and you can hear it's a real high shelf. It's not there until it's 12 kilohertz. Um, pushing up to 16 is a little bit much, but I think about half of that's going to be quite nice. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. Had the world turn around, had it upside down. Yeah, it just helps lift a little bit of air up. Now, because we can drive it, we can do this. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. And we're really, we're just pushing the high content and it's giving us a load of extra harmonics up there. Again, it's a bit much pushing it to 6 dB, but backing it off a little bit, it's going to be quite nice. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. And as this is a vocal, we don't really need anything uh, in the 80 hertz range. We're just going to engage our high pass as well, and it will just snap straight onto that. 160 is probably a bit high, but we can have a listen. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. Had the world turn so around, had it upside high. down, but I never press rewind. We're not really losing anything with 160, so let's check it in context of the mix. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but between 80 and 160, there's a little bit being lost in the vocal. So I'd stick around 80 and just cut anything low there that we know we don't need. All right, next, let's have a look at the vocal bus as well. Okay, so on the vocal bus, we're gonna try out using the MEQ 550A, which is gonna be an API emulation. And the knobs kind of give an idea to that, but the fact it's a 550A lets us know that as well. Now we're using this on the vocal bus, so the overall vocal mix as it stands at the minute sounds like this. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. Now, all of the Mogwai EQs come with the ability to work on the mids and sides separately. Over here on the right hand side, we can choose what we're listening to. I can actually turn off the sides altogether and just listen to the left. So far, I can switch it to mid. And the reason that's useful is right now, I just want to lift up the mid frequencies of this particular vocal. And I'm thinking around the 3K mark is going to work well. Felt so far when you're near the end, I've been wasting all my time. 
had the world turn around, had it upside down, but I never press rewind. Only I oh, yeah. can break these chains up. Take me higher, take me higher. I felt so far when you're near the end. I've been wasting all my time. Oh, my. Had the world turn around, had it upside down, but I never press rewind. Only I oh, yeah. can break these chains up, take me higher. And that's really helped us just pop that mid of that vocal out. Let's check it in context of the track. We could have just as easily used the 550B, which is a larger version of the same EQ. As I only really wanted to adjust that one band around 3K, I figured that the 550A would do the job. The 550B gives us four bands of EQ, all at slightly different overlapping frequencies. And with all of the EQs, we still have that mid side capability. Super useful way to work. Now the fourth EQ in the Mogwai arsenal is the MK2. Now this is an emulation of a 1960s EQ, and this is a little bit different. Uh, harmonically, it's really kind of rich and adds a lot of distortion to the signal. By default, it loads up with everything in low pass as well. So I'm just gonna switch everything onto a nice lift there. And uh, we're gonna use this on the bass. I'm gonna try and warm the bass up just a little bit more. So at the moment, it's like this. There's a couple of layers that have been recorded and then there's a sub layer in there as well from a synth. Uh, and I'm just gonna try and lift it up probably around the lower regions, maybe the 240 to 500 and probably push the saturation just a little bit. Okay, so there I've just taken the low frequency band and left it on the bell shape here and just pushed it at 240 by 12 dB and really driven it. It's added loads of saturation and then just a little bit around 2K to just help the ear catch it a little bit more, but I've gained that back in the terms of saturation and left the high frequency alone completely. So if we have it off and then engage it again, Hear how it really warms that bass up. Let's check it out in the track. Turn around, had it upside down, but I never press rewind. Felt so far when you're near the end. I've been wasting all my time. Had the world turn around, had it upside down, but I never press. And that, guys, is a super quick look at the four EQs from Mogwai Audio. Don't forget to check them out on Audio Plugin Deals where they're heavily discounted right now in an amazing bundle. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.